on today's episode of Moto Cheese. That's right, what you all been waiting for. This time, it's brought to you by Foxtheon. This is the Foxtheon iGo 1200 portable power station. This is rated at 1200 watts with a peak of 2400 watts with a 974.4 watt hour lithium iron phosphate style battery. It's 9.8 kilograms or about 22 pounds. Nine and three quarters wide, nine and a half tall, and seven and three eighths wide. It has a pure sine wave inverter built in at 120 volts, 60 hertz. Also comes with a user's manual. Typical uses for this unit would be photography, so you can charge your equipment, emergency backup of course, outdoor camping, fishing, road trip, and a mobile office. So your charging inputs, that's your DC charging for your AC power supply, or if you purchase a DC charger to go off your car battery, that is an Anderson solar connector. You have a 100 watt output on a USB-C port there. That's a QC 3.0 output, which senses the device that you hook up to it. And three USB-A QC 3.0s. Then it comes with 220 volt outlets that are 1200 standard and 2400 max. The car port cigarette lighter output is 13.6 volts at 10 amps, which is 120 watts max. It claims you'll still have 80% of battery after 1500 cycles. It does have high temperature protection, low temperature protection, over discharge protection, overcharge protection and overload, short circuit protection and overcurrent protection. To power this unit on, hold any of these buttons. One, two, three, four seconds. It'll show your battery remaining. It'll also tell you how many hours is left depending on how many watts you're drawing from the unit. To turn your DC output on, hold your button for four seconds and you'll see it illuminate down on the bottom. To turn your light on, same thing. You got high, low, and SOS. And to shut it off, you hold it for four seconds. This unit only supplies you with a 110 volt slash 220 volt AC power adapter, which draws 3.5 amps. The output is 30 volts at 8 amps at 240 watts. So going from left to right, you have your AC button, your DC button, your LCD readout panel, which is an intelligent panel, LED light, these are your DC inputs. That's your Anderson Solar input. Two USB-Cs. Three USB-A QC 3.0 outputs. You also have a 13.6 output at 10 amps. And 220 volt outputs. You have your fan on the right side. And some cooling vents. This is a plastic. This does not have a charger on the top. It actually packs a good punch for the size. Holding a little charge from the static there. A little damp cloth will get rid of that. It's pretty heavy for its size compared to the other units that I've tested, but the output for its size is a lot higher than the other units I've tested. So let's charge this up and see what it'll do. Take a few readings and do a few tests. 1200 watts with a 2400 watt peak. That's pretty impressive for that size. Of course, that style battery weighs a little more. So it shows your input wattage charging, how many hours it's going to take to charge. So it'll be two hours and it's at 68% right now at 203 watts. We're fully charged. 
Let's check the voltage output on this and the sine wave. And turn off the USB. Uh, well, looks like we're at 50 hertz. To change from 50 to 60 hertz, you hold these two buttons. See how that flipped up there? So it looks like a nice clean sine wave. 60 hertz, 116.5 volts roughly. Perfect sine wave. I do suggest that you make sure that it's on 60 hertz. Because this is the way it came from the factory. Let's do fan only. Two watts on fan only. Heat setting one. It's 465 watts. Let's try two. 689, 695 watts. Let's try three. Ooh, 1100 watts. Well, it's rated for 1200. It's saying 45 minutes. So let's see how long this runs. We'll kill the lights. Has a little bit of variation in that sine wave. You see a little bit of noise in it. But it's pretty clean. According to the size of the battery that's in it, you would think it should run about 45 50 minutes, so that's about accurate. Let's see. It's like the battery's flashing at 5%. It's really not giving off any heat. Can't find my thermal reader. Holding about 110 volts. And that's it. That's all she wrote. So we're going to plug it back in. It says 5 hours, and that's from 0%. And like all the other ones, Use your first discharge. We'll sync up your control panel so it'll be more accurate. And we're at 1% already. While we have the meter out, let's check the voltage of this 12 volt output 13.53. And yes, you can operate it while it's charging, as this shows. First, we'll try the 100 watt port Samsung S23 Ultra. Wow, super fast charge, look at that. Wow, that's super fast charge. That's fast charge. And the USB-A. Fast charge. So that's all working properly. So it's all charged up and ready for reuse. It's a cloudy day or else I try to hook up a solar panel. Not gonna happen. It's gonna be cloudy in the next few days. So what do I think of this unit? I think it's a pretty solid unit. Well built, performed as expected, and it's actually a pretty good price. This is brand new on the market. So be one of the first to get one. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.